Hi everybody! Today we'll take a look at the vehicles available in the Italian Tech 3 at Tier 4 in War Thunder. The first light tank is the Fiat 6614. You can find it at Tier 4 at BR 6.3. It has a four-man crew composed by driver, gunner, loader and commander. It has 8mm of armor all round. It is armed with a M40A1 106mm recoilless rifle and a coaxial 12.7mm M80 machine gun. The main gun fires the heat explosive anti-tank M344A1 shell and the hash a explosive squash head M361A1 shell. The Fiat 6614 was a joint venture between Fiat and Otomelara to create a light APC for the Italian army. The first prototype was ready by 1972. The version armed with the M40A1 was just a one-off prototype. This version was created to try to give the vehicle some anti-tank capabilities but it wasn't accepted by the Italian army due to the recoilless rifle becoming obsolete. This is the AUBL 74T90, that stands for Auto Blindo 1974. You can find it at Tier 4 at BR 6.3. It has a three-man crew composed by driver, gunner and commander. It has 8mm of armor for the hull, while the turret is 8mm all around except for the mantlet that is 15mm. It is armed with a Cockrell Mark III 90mm cannon and a coaxial 7.62mm MG42-59 machine gun. The main gun fires the HIT FS, high explosive anti-tank fin stabilized, M620A1 shell and the HASH high explosive squash head M625A1 shell. The AUBL 74T90 was one of the prototypes created based on the Fiat 6616 chassis. It was created by Fiat and Otomelara to be a cheap light vehicle with anti-tank capabilities for export and the Italian army. Unfortunately, the version armed with the 90mm cannon didn't found any buyer. The first and only medium tank we found at this tier is the M26A1. You can find it at BR 6.3. It has a five-man crew composed by driver, gunner, loader, machine gunner and commander. The armor for the hull is 101mm for the front glazes, 162mm upper glazes and 76mm lower glazes while the turret is 101mm for the front and 114mm for the mantlet. It is armed with a 90mm M3A1 cannon, a coaxial 7.62mm M1919A4 machine gun and a roof-mounted 12.7mm M2HB machine gun. The main gun fires the M72AP armor piercing shot, the M82APCBC armor piercing capped ballistic capped shot, the M304 APCR armor piercing composite rigid shot, the M332 APCR armor piercing composite rigid shot, and the M71 HE high explosive shell. Italy received the M26A1 by the US via the Mutual Defense Assistance Act at the beginning of the 1950s and stayed in service all the way until 1963, when it started to get replaced by the M47, M60 and Leopard 1. The only tank destroyer at tier 4 is the M36B1. You can find it at VR 6.0. It has a five-man crew composed by driver, gunner, loader, machine gunner and commander. The whole armor is 63.5mm, while the turret front is 32mm and the mantlet is 76.2mm. It is armed with a 90mm M3A1 cannon and a roof-mounted 12.7mm M2HB machine gun. 
The main gun fires the M77 AP armor piercing shot, the M82 APCBC armor piercing capped ballistic capped shot, the M304 APCR armor piercing composite rigid shot, the M332 APCR armor piercing composite rigid shot, the M71 HE high explosive shell, and the T108 IT FS high explosive anti tank fin stabilized shell. Italy received the M36B1 by the US via the Mutual Defense Assistance Act after the end of World War II, when Italy was trying to get their hands on as many fighting vehicles as possible. Italy used a small number of M36B1 as tank destroyers. The premium tank for this tier is the M26 Ariete, a M26 with the core of the Ariete Armor Division. It has the same armor, crew and BR as the non-premium M26A1. The main difference between the M26 compared to the M26A1 is the less powerful M3 90mm main cannon that can fire less powerful shells. Italy received the M26 by the US via the Mutual Defense Assistance Act and the Ariete Division was armed with it while defending the eastern border with Yugoslavia in case of a Warsaw Pact Army's invasion.